It's a big risk for Hollywood filmmakers to slip the subject of abortion into a romantic comedy. But with the film Obvious Child, writer and director Gillian Robespierre plans to prove moviegoers are ready for the taboo topic. SNL alum Jenny Slate stars as Donna, a working comedian who loses her job and breaks up with her boyfriend. Cue the one-night stand and the following pregnancy. She calls to schedule an abortion, only to find out the next available appointment is Valentine's Day. And the response from much of the media seems to be Finally, Slate contributor Amanda Hess calls the indie comedy, quote, the most honest abortion movie she's ever seen. She goes on to say, The girl gets an abortion and gets the guy. She doesn't even have a change of heart, contract a nasty infection, or succumb to a tragic death. LA Weekly's critic is a little more apprehensive, but suggests the time has come for a movie that's not shy about abortion. Pro-life audiences won't fall in love with Donna. Our national politics are too polarized for that. The real love story is between Donna and the rest of womankind. The silent, in movies, but sizable majority that understands her decision. Descriptions such as revolutionary, confident, human, and surprisingly funny fill out the internet's round of applause. Now keep in mind, this is the response from media outlets, and it's a very sensitive subject. We imagine once the film gains momentum, more opposing voices will surface. A few writers delve into the historical stigma surrounding the portrayal of reproductive rights on the silver screen. Let's return to Slate. Hess dusted off the cover to the Motion Picture Production Code, which predates the MPAA rating system. Guidelines in 1956 put it plainly, abortion must never be treated lightly or made the subject of comedy. The word abortion shall not be used. Under today's standards, the MPAA rated the movie R for language and sexual content. Unlike prior films that have made light of the subject, Obvious Child is direct. A few critics threw flack at directors such as Judd Apatow. His movie, Knocked Up, infamously dodged the word with this line. Tell me you don't want him to get an A word. Yes, I do, and I won't say it for little baby ears over there, but it rhymes with shmushmortion. Of course, a few corners of the web also questioned Obvious Child's effect on generations often raised on entertainment or movies. And left-leaning blog Crooks and Liars brought up an interesting paradox. This art house film will likely play in a few thousand theaters and will be shown to indie fans in select cities. But according to the writer, it's not enough because the working class and poor women aren't going to the local art cinema. Obvious Child is set to hit theaters in LA and New York Friday. It also stars comedian Gabby Hoffman and The Office's Jack Lacey. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.